So we're back again with now another NBA 2K20 My Team video and in this one I'm going to be telling you guys how you can easily get a free Galaxy Opal. So out of every free Galaxy Opal in the game I'd say this one is by far the easiest and I'm going to cut straight to the point but basically the free Galaxy Opal is in Triple Threat Online. So there's a Galaxy Opal Gus Williams and then there's also a Pink Diamond Fred Brown. You guys might be like who are those players? Great question. <laughs> but hey, you can't complain at all with free Galaxy Opals and Pink Diamonds on the Triple Threat Online boards. So basically in this video, I've played about 50 games already of Triple Threat Online and I'll show you all of those boards later of what we were able to get from our ball drops. But in this one, I'm gonna play 10 games in this video and show you guys all of the ball drops live in that one. And maybe we can get a free Pink Diamond or a Galaxy Opal in these 10 games. I'll also give you some tips to hopefully get better luck. So anyway, for Triple Threat Online, this is my team. It is it is insane. So like D-Wade is by far the best card in Triple Threat in my opinion. His release is just crazy. Ben Simmons can guard anyone in the floor, which is why I love him. And T-Mac can also switch on absolutely anyone because he's six foot eight. So yeah, I'll show you a little bit of gameplay with this squad and then hopefully we'll be all right. Let's get to the first game. And now opponent really doesn't have a good team. So it's time to shine. And we've got T-Mac here on the first possession, kicking it back down. We should be able to get this corner three. Corner three. Corner three. And we make it. D-Wade pulls down his first board. I see T-Mac in the corner. That's a good pass. Only a two though. Should be an inbound steal, which it is. Getting the hop step this time. Back out to Ben. Pump faking on that one. Kind of want the three instead of the two. So we're going to kick it out to T-Mac here. Playing pretty good defense, but we do have this. Then back here. He actually did read that, but the one, two is going to work a dime. And we get another steal on Mike Conley. Mike Conley isn't having the greatest game right now. D-Wade makes him pay. D-Wade almost has takeover too. And trust me, when he gets it, it is the most overpowered thing. That should be the takeover there, which it is. Taking it out to the three. We're just going to keep on greening. This game has literally taken no time at all. And it's going to continue going that way. You ready for it to be game over? I'm telling you, D-Way would take over. Best card in the game, 100%. Yeah, that was um a three-minute game. That's not bad at all. And here we go. Now I get to show you my first ball drops. And I can't lie, I actually lost my first game in this. So the first few balls, I feel like you can't really get the players. I think it starts at like when you get start getting three balls drops is when you can actually get the players i haven't seen them on this board but this this board isn't bad because we can get the dwight howard deluxe pack and that's what we're going to go for we're not going to get it though we're going to get one token which isn't the worst for a one ball drop we'll we'll take that especially how that put me on exactly 300 tokens so that's kind of nice. Next team up is a little bit better, but we should destroy this JaVale. All we need is just snatch back threes with D-Wade. And I'm telling you, he's got the best release in the game. It's kind of like a D-Wade gameplay because that's the only player I actually use in this triple threat. Let's kick it down to Ben Simmons for the standing dunk. Oh, what a steal there by D-Wade. And let's actually take this one out for three. That's so deep. That is so, so, so deep. We are going to miss Ben Simmons. If you could get on that board, that would be nice. But we play good defense on the way back. And he is going to make the shot. That's fine by me, though, because we got D-Wade stopping, popping from deep. It's in buckets. Yeah, we're kind of destroying this one, too. Pump faking that one to try and get him behind the three-point line. And we're going to make yet another stop, too. And that was actually a beautiful dime. Oh, my. Might just take this one on the inside. Oh, yeah. Okay, that's a little bit easier. We are going to miss that. And he is going to pull down the rebound. Maybe we can get a steal. Or he's going to take the three with Danny Manning. Handy Manny. You guys know that show. Dun, 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 dun. Handy Manny. <laughs> That's the only thing I think of when I see Danny Manning. So there we go. Do get another stop though. D-Wade on the drive, not getting blocked. All we need is two more points, but D-Wade will make it on a three. And okay, he's actually going to miss that. That's fine. That's fine. Because we can just catch and shoot that with take and it's in. Yeah, next ball drop probably isn't going to be the best. Yeah, we've got one ball drop and that's pretty much it. Probably the best thing out of this is one token. We'll take it though. And we're going to end up getting that one token. So not a bad one. So now I'm going to turn off my face cam, play a couple more games and you guys will see the boards for those games that I play. I'll have a live reaction and hopefully we can get something good. So let's get into these next few ones. Next one up. I mean, a late elite base pack. We'll take that. And we got it once. And then we got 150 MT the next time. So we've got the next ball drop up. And this one isn't bad. We get a deluxe D-Wade pack. And this here should be where we start getting the better rewards when the board is a bit bigger like this. So hopefully we get something a little bit better in these. First one, we get 250 MT. And then we're going to get 250 again. Next one up. Wow. 
That is like the worst one I think I've ever seen. 100 in the first, 250, and 100 in the next. Next one up isn't bad actually with multi-dimensional packs, so hopefully we can get these. 400 MT, 400 MT again, and 250 MT. Now I personally have this superstition that when you actually back out of my team and then go back in and play a triple threat game, you get a better board. So now we're gonna go back into triple threat and hit up this next game and see if the board's any better. All right, so let's see if our board is any better after doing that. To be honest, that's pretty good. Five tokens, three tokens, we'll take that. 300 MT, five tokens in the next, another five tokens, which is a dub. And then we get three tokens again. So that was really good. And I'm gonna do what I just did again. We're gonna back out. I know it's probably just a suspicion, but may as well try it. Next one up, five ball drops. And this is a dub because we got a Frostbite Deluxe Pack. Hopefully we can get it twice. 300 MT, 250 MT. Here we go. That looks better for us to get our first Frostbite Deluxe Pack. And there it is. And then we also get it as second time another dub and then we end off with another 250 mt so of course it's worked every time let's back out again and it's kind of funny but i just lost my final game but that's okay i actually did want to lose my final one which sounds really weird but the last time i lost my final one i had a pink diamond on my board and it was very weird. So is the board gonna be better if we lose on our final game? Because usually the final board for me is always so bad. 2K, what is this? Please explain why I get a loss and I get the pink diamond. I've seen this card twice. The two times is when I lose my final game. Do you have to intentionally lose your final game? I really don't know, but let's see if we can get Fred Brown the pink diamond in this one. That's not a good drop. That is not, oh, go to the right, go, no, no, no. Yes, good, good, good. We get past the yellow. That's what we want to see. Please get past the blue. That's what we want to see. Yes, okay, keep on going, keep on going. And don't get reset. That's the one thing we don't want to have happen. Go to the right more, come on, come on, come on. Oh no, oh yes, oh no, no, yes, no, no. Please go down more, please go down more. Oh my word, that's what she said. Don't say that, Angus. Anyway, let's keep on going down. Come on, come on. Oh, no, no. Good, good, good. Yes. Okay, keep on going, keep on going. This is the worst commentary you've ever seen. It's like just, I don't know. But anyway, here we are doing our thing. Kills my commentary, showing you guys how to be a YouTuber by just saying, come on, come on, let's go. It's getting reset again. We are not going to get Fred Brown. I can almost guarantee it. I feel like I should commentate this whole thing. We ended up getting one token. Like... That is so unlucky in both ways. I lost my game and we get him on the board. And also we only get one token, two tokens. I don't know if that's just coincidence that that happened, but it is pretty bad. Anyway, now what I'm going to do, I'm going to show you guys what I was able to get from these boards out of like the 50 games I played. So you can see them just going through now. There were some pretty okay things, but to be honest, most of it really wasn't that good. I know it's going through it very fast, but I just didn't really want to waste your guys' time. We had some very bad boards though, with only like 100 MT, 200 MT, so boring. But at least we had three times where we had two diamond consumables packs on the board. And actually two of those times, I was able to get both of them. So we have four diamond consumable packs. And I'll show you guys my other time that I had Fred Brown on the board. And you can see I lost my game and I was five ball drops because it was my last one. No! So yeah, we were unlucky to not be able to get him there too. But yeah, then I'm showing you guys the more exciting thing. We actually got Gus Williams on our board where we had four ball drops. Let's go, let's go. Okay, we've got three drops. Don't have my face cam on right now, but this is the one. Let's get it. Gus, Gussy boy, my name. Let's get it. Come on. <gasps> we actually got him. Let's go. What a bounce, baby. We got my boy Gus Williams a free Galaxy Opal just like that. Let's go. And you guys can see it was my first ball drop when we actually got him. So I was super hyped. So as you guys can see, we were actually able to get the Galaxy Opal that you're able to get from the Triple Threat Online boards. Six foot two, like he's really not that good to be honest. He's very fast with 98 speed, 97 lateral quickness. Like he's a smart man, 40 Hall of Fame badges. The only issue is he doesn't even have gold range extender. But hey, it's a free Galaxy Opal. And in my opinion, it's the easiest one to get. Unfortunately, you do have to be a little bit lucky. But to think in Triple Threat offline, it's like very, very difficult to get an Opal. If you're gonna do all the spotlight sim challenges, that will take forever. And it took me about probably 40 Triple Threat online games to get him. And I've seen a lot of people do a lot better. So now it's time for us to 
get into these packs of what we're going to open. So I'm going to do the boring ones first. Gold consumables pack. Lower body. Another one. And we... Okay, shoot. Base league pack. Give me a silver. A bronze. Deluxe league pack. Let's go. Let's go. Let's get an emerald cool. Next one, we're getting a gold. Deluxe heat check pack now. Guarantees a heat check player. We also get Jay Quillen and Tony Snell. Another one. And okay, who's this? Jared Culver. Next one up. And we're getting... Okay, Doug McDermott. Standard Isaiah Thomas Award. This one's going to be trash. I don't even know who the best player is out of this, but we get an Emerald Marcus Smart. Another one here, and we're getting a Ruby. Not bad. It is a player. A player from the set, that is. And next one up, our final one, Joe Ingle. Shout out to Australia. Standard Andre Iguodala pack now, and a Sapphire. Okay, Kenneth Fareed. A Deluxe D-Wade pack. This is probably going to be the worst one of them all. Yep. Deluxe Dwight Howard pack. I think there's a pink diamond in these. I'm not too sure, but we get Steve Blake. Now for the George Mike and Legacy pack. Can we get something a bit better? These have been so bad. Spotlight Kevin Garnett pack. This one's a little bit different too. So let's go into it. Get an emerald. Okay. It's Bo... Uh, Bo... 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 Bo, Bo. Bojan Bogdanovic. Now time for the Marisa Lucas Legacy packs. We've got two of these babies. First one up. Very bad. And now for the second one up. It is... No way. What? We actually just got a pink diamond out of this. Okay. That just made it a lot better. It's got to be Marisa Lucas too. And I think this man's price went up a lot. Fun fact, I actually pulled this card when it first came out. Didn't even post a video on it because your boy was quite intoxicated. But there we go. We get Maurice Lucas. Wow, I can tell you what. I did not expect that from a free pa pack. That is what Triple Threat can do. Wow, wait. Now it's time to go into the Frostbite Deluxe pack. So it's kind of cool that we went from, a, from pretty bad to now hopefully ending it off with a bang. With more than just that pink diamond. So the final Frostback Frostbite Deluxe pack. An Amethyst. All right, we'll take that. I think it's Kenyon Martin, which really isn't great at all because I know he goes for literally nothing. Wait, Kings? Yeah, I think that's who it is. I'm pretty sure. I'm pretty sure. And is it? Yes, I was right. Kevin Martin. Anyway, now you guys can see we've got four diamond consumables packs. So I saved the best for last because these guarantee like a diamond shoe, a diamond contract, or and I think maybe a diamond coach. Let's see what we get in the first one. Diamond contract, always a win. If all of these are diamond contracts for me, I will not be mad at all. I do kind of want a three-point shoe, but second one up, what are we getting? Best shoe in the game. Best shoe in the game. Let's get Ws in the chat. That shoe alone right there goes for about 40K, especially when a better player comes out that needs a shoe. He goes up. It goes up a lot more. That's a terrible shoe. Was the best shoe last year. Unfortunately, not this year though. So the final pack up. We've been saving these for a while and we're going to get a diamond contract. So I reckon we had one L, two Ns and one big W. Because the question is, how much is this Maurice Lucas going for? Okay, he's only going for about 20K, but still it's a W from a free pack. But this diamond shoe was definitely our best pull because you guys can see it goes for about 35k the next shoe actually does go for a little bit like 10k so we'll take that and then we pull two diamond contracts and they always sell for about 14,000. so that means from all those packs we easily made at least 100,000 mt and also not to mention the main thing about this video is we did have fred brown on our board twice we weren't able to get him but the main one that we did get was the free galaxy opal being gus williams shout out to all the gusses out there i'm one of them and the other thing about grinding out triple threat online is i personally actually actually find it fun. So I think this is the best way to make MT. And also there's two pretty cool cards on there, being a free Galaxy Opal, Gus Williams, and a free Pink Diamond, Fred Brown. So I think this is definitely what I recommend you guys do if you're just sitting on my team right now. But yeah, this video took me forever to make, so be sure to smash that like button as I played so many games to try and make this video the best as possible for you guys and show you what do you actually get from your boards if you play a lot of games. So yeah, hopefully you enjoyed. Be sure to smash that like button, subscribe for new, follow me on Twitch, Twitter, and Instagram, and I'll catch you guys in my next video. Bye.